ba kamar politics ba shi shi sai fi da idan wani ki bi na da example of a yet seven an apex yet seven who use bail and jail like a revolving door pilot murder victims and know that it is him is dead i'm also going to be playing a recent clip from prime minister umbre in house of parliament very interesting now then i'm going to talk about a you tell them call killy killy right real name fitz donegal he's originally from tradiga park aka key park now this suit is known primarily for being a part of one another but at one point him end up starting could all the clan man too matter of fact he met up about demar aka baby killer he man this dude have a very interesting story you see at one point the two man them used to war as in literally shut off at each other at opposite side of the fence next thing people start to the two man them start war yes baby killer and killy killy start link as you can imagine that is a combination straight from the darkest corners of the abyss from enemies to friends to frenemies you know it got already 87 all these of them issues the jcf has been trying to get killy killy off of the streets for over a decade now when i say over a decade now but i mean like when jamaicans just you know so boy a long time on donkey years and decades and no i mean over a decade now thank you all on him every time you go in a jail out of jail like a revolving door and in the process he's been piling up the victims one by one this is a youth that literally live up to him name killy killy i'm gonna show you right a old very old right, wanted man article look on your screen right now when you see names like speedy remember him did the video on him speedy from clansman you see ice right, also from clansman but look on the date of the article 2010 when you see killy killy on it he was one of the six that's 12 years ago that's how long killy killy has been on jcf radar still can't get a decent conviction him abscond bail as him please as soon as him touch back road him go out to witness them on him case usual 87 activity that's one of the reasons why when time them get bail no fight time they now go back in a jail and till them kill the witness they say them know it work you know get bail hunt the witness them right once them kill the witness right then them like all right come lock me up right carry them back to jail because them know say they can't get the conviction again well no theme time come killy killy has been killed killed under some circumstances where to be honest it's kind of spooky because the early reports are that the man them call him and as him start walk up he a gunshot start reaching and they mash him up brutal slaying something a killy killy would have done on many occasions to other people this time a film time but the call out thing this have to be people where i'm linked with the man in a man a strange man called he know the badness game all too well he's been piling up the bodies and now film body pile up remember there's no separation between the 87s and a law by the civilian it's just somebody else who has been murdered and the number has gone too they say the reality is where the official justice system fail the unofficial one will take over let me say that one more time where the official justice system fail the unofficial one will take over and you know the unofficial one is the streets and in the streets no big fancy lawyer can help you in the streets a judge can help you in the streets no human rights group can help you jail is actually one of the safest place created 
When them free, they are either killing or getting killed. Your favorite activist either don't know this or don't care. Probably a combination of both. I am leaning more towards don't care because as I said, virtue signaling is the number one priority. It's definitely not saving lives. This is what 87 is understand man. The very people them who claim say they want to back on the streets, but as soon as they're free, they can go dead a bush. So the new amended acts will make life harder for people like Killy Killy. Because the way how him can continuously get bail even though he's well known being an 87. Even though man, he have a slew of victim attached to his name. Because he's never been convicted, because you know the guy already are going to witness to come forward now and thing there. But you say, well, let him go. Let him go, he go kill again. But eventually him get killed. So the new amended acts, man, I will play a role in changing all of this. Speaking about amended acts, check out this clip from Prime Minister Umbre. Corrections Act is in the final stage of completion. It will be submitted to cabinet within the coming weeks. The policy, which is the first of its kind, is comprehensive and speaks not only to the incarceration, but critical changes required to transform security, such as the compulsory participation of adult rehabilitation and electronic monitoring through ankle bracelets and tagging. The new act will also specify custodial sentences for those who collaborate with criminals to facilitate their communication or the giving of direction towards crimes outside of the prison. No, that's very interesting. We just heard the crime plan, but I, I reviewed it. And my main thing was that, what's the timeline? Yeah, we hear this ago, happen, but what's the timeline? Well, now we are here, quote unquote, coming weeks. That's still not a date, but it sounds soon. Surely, coming weeks right, is before the end of 2022. Right? It can't be much longer than that. So, once I get tabled, that go through. Things are going to look real interesting next year. You see, in my opinion, 2023 has the potential to be a turning point for Harriman. Don't get expectations too high. I'm not saying murders are going to drop to 500. We might not even, even see no major changes in terms of the actual numbers. But I think it will be a turning point. You cannot undo 60 years in a year. The laws will need time to work, especially the corrections act. But this will be man, the first time in my lifetime we we'll see the JCF have the tools man, that are necessary man, to actually make a dent in that crime. There will be a lot of pushback from the various stakeholders. Man. But the government have to remain strong. In the end, results is what people remember. 20 years from now, Irish citizens will only remember the results. They will not remember a single walk to this. They will not remember a single defense lawyer, academic, whoever. They might not even remember the local YouTuber and the movement. But I can assure you, they will have the data and the numbers. They will remember the results. Most of the people I'm going to see I met nice now. Scholars, quote unquote experts. They've had years right, to put forward real solutions. And they had nothing but fairy dust and dreams. They're still telling people that the reason why Ironman, there's almost 200 nations in the world, Right, let's call it that. And the reason why Ironman sit at the top, or at least top five every year, is because of poverty. Right, that is the best 
these minds can come up with. And these are the people who want us to take them seriously when it comes on to hearing about their ideas for quote unquote fight crime. Most people, even in a bad man place, want the violent to stop. Even in a bad man place. Whether it's Salt Spring, whether it's Glen Devon, whether it's Augustown, whether it's Rima, most people want the money to stop. Only gangs and their beneficiaries want it to continue. People in a bad man place, especially, need it to stop because, as we know, that's who bear the brunt of the violence. When woke to be stark, they pretend like they speak for these people, but they don't. You know why? Because when I speak to these people, their frustration is that the government is not doing enough. Let me say that one more time. When I speak man, to these people, and the entire movement is built around speaking to people from white man place, their problem is that the government is not doing enough. They're like, yeah, that's cool, but that not, we need more than that. But when you walk to this attack, they make it sound like, say, right, residents in a salt spring right, want the security forces to, you know, loosen up. Not number so. A terror scene is them attack to. Right, a, a crooked politician is them attack to. 87 is them attack to. Charming 87 is them attack to. When they left them college campus and go circle around and go stone, circle around the jungle. You know, some charming 87. I tell them, say, no man, mommy, I know, say, I just threw there, so I'm just an easy man, I must come. And them say, oh, look at this young man, he would never, I mean, it doesn't look like he can hurt a fly. The only time we hear walk to this officer is when time they get a bus the paper. Nobody goes hunting for what any walk to this officer. You know, see something coming to the gleaner or the observer or nationwide and you read this, oh, this time I say. Right. It's pushed before you. You don't go looking for it. People of Jamaica are fed up with crime. They want the government to do more. They want the government to act now. So 2023, or at least the point when all three acts are amended, remember, firearms done, bail, and corrections, new corrections. When all three are amended, that is when things get interesting. 2023, look out feet. We'll be right here, step by step. Anyway, Rich and Squad, we open the cell. Yeah, you don't know, more life. Rich and Squad, stay circling. Bless.